I don't know how to explain this exactly, but sometimes smoking a joint hits as if McDonald's is what I'm eating. You know what I'm talking about? Is that a weird fucking thing? Because I think it is. I just like had, I just smoked this, smoked this. And it gives me some kind of like a feeling of having McDonald's. It's like the most strange thing I've felt smoking a joint probably ever. I've never felt this feeling, but I like it. It's kind of funny. Um, I don't eat McDonald's, so good trade off. I do smoke a lot of fucking weed. <laughs> a lot of fucking weed. I'm so glad that I'm back on track too. Like for a while I wasn't smoking as much and like bongs were hurting me and stuff like that. So I'm glad that I'm back to normal. Without going into details or anything, I've been like super stressed out for the last few days, just a couple days. And there's a specific reason, but I'm not gonna tell you. But yeah, it's kind of like enveloping who I am and like eating me alive. <coughs> so I hope that stops sometime. I hope that feeling goes away. Just to like try to solve it a little bit, I decided to go to a greenhouse today and go for a little drive. That's what I'm doing right now. I had a Red Bull and I put it in the fridge too late in the game and then took it out too soon. So it did not hit as a Red Bull should. So that sucked. Um, I kind of regret that. Wish that I had saved it for later in the day where it actually could have helped me. Hot boxing my car. I don't know how smart that is, but. it's a Sunday and I went out to a party last night and we left around like 1 30 or 2 and I got home around like 2 30 because we were dropping off friends too and then I woke up today <clears throat> we stayed up for like an hour afterwards just talking and stuff about the party and then because something wild happened I'm also not going to talk about it right now right here but something weird happened at the party <laughs> some unexpected drama so that was just you know strange I thought yeah, I feel like I should just concentrate on driving right now, and there's someone following me way close behind me, so I'll continue this later. Have a good one. Morning. I'm gonna smoke some weed, and I recently put it in a nice big jar. Isn't that nice? Oh, yes, it's actually just pop pouring out there. Nice. I guess I need, needed that nug. It's beautiful. It's like matzo. I'm pretty sure it's a brand. I mean, not brand. <laughs> Strain. Oh, I'm so tired right now. So I went to a party last night and we picked up our friends on the way there. And it was a pretty fun night, good party. No complaints, although it was raining a little bit. And I did have a bit of a stomach ache, so I'm sure that I ate something that, like, did not totally agree with me. So that sucked. I spent, like, 20 minutes on the couch just, like, chilling. <sighs> but I was at, like, one of our best friend's places at the party last night. And I was at the same place where the wedding was. So I feel very comfortable there. And I'm pretty sure, like, most of our friends did, too. It's a nice place. Good vibes, relaxing, just out of the city. It's great. And then I think we left the party around like 1.30 or so. And like, I think 
think there was like 10 or 20 people there still. And I just have one thing to say, which is so funny. So, um, there's probably about 100 people or so, maybe less, maybe like 80 people at the party. But there was like 100 people invited. So, and <clears throat> a lot of the people that were at this party were like overlapping from the wedding. But then there was a few people that were at the party last night that were not invited to the wedding because like we don't know them. And like there's, so last night's party was like a going away party for a few of our friends that are moving away. And then, um, so they have like slightly different friends and they're closer to other people than, than some, right? And so we, we didn't invite like a handful of people from like our group just because like we're not that close with them like literally this morning I was like this guy and then we forgot his name and then it was like something else so this guy who I literally forgot the name of because we're not that close with him at all um last night at the party um me and my husband were just like walking around together and like saying goodbye to people and stuff and he just said like hi and like he was he's historically been way nice and like we have talked to him a little bit but like not so much that you would invite someone to your wedding, right? Like, we haven't talked that much at all. I think I've had, like, one or two, I think one conversation with him ever. And, yeah, so when when he saw us, though, tonight, or last night, he was just like, hi, and, like, literally said that, and I was like, he's actually bitter because, like, we didn't invite him to the wedding. Like, obviously, a lot of people knew about the wedding, and it was traveling around the party last night for sure, like, news of the wedding. I heard a bunch of people, like, this one lady that was not invited, I don't even know who she is at all, but she was like, I heard there was a wedding on this property last week to some random person, and then the random person happened to have helped out, like, a lot, and I was just eavesdropping on the conversation, and he was like, yeah, this is how it happened, this is what was here, this is how it was set up, blah, 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 and, yeah, I heard, like, many conversations last night. Like, what you gonna do? I had 140 people at my wedding, our wedding, and, like, one person's feelings might have got slightly hurt. I don't care. If I cared about, if I cared about every single person's feelings that were and were not invited, it's just, there'd be too much to worry about, you know? So in light of inviting people to your wedding and not feeling bad about the people you didn't invite, invite cheers. Patty, you're fine. I'll also go for a dog walk after this, I think. On that note, let's go for a walk. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Come on. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah? Yeah? Come here. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're crazy. I know, we're gonna go.